Where do you think America went wrong? Because it seems like, for the most part, people are spending more time on drama, uh, stupid arguments, petty things. Where do you think that began? Because uh, it seems like, from my perspective, that there are much bigger issues at hand that people just don't care about. We went wrong the day we took God out, out of school. It's just period. We went wrong. Kids standing up praying, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation bo- under God, you know, invisible. We went wrong when that was gone. We went wrong when it's like, hey, let's wake up. I'm talking. Heavenly Father, thank you for this. Thank you for this. Please give us the, you know, da, da, da. thank you for the nourishment. And today, uh, allow me to stay focused, to study and learn and get better with the teachers. Okay. There was nothing wrong with that, with us praying. Woodrow Wilson kind of messed it up a little bit. But taking God out of school was a big mess. You ready for this technical question? Yeah. Would you rather have your kids have to learn about God and pray every morning and to pledge allegiance to the flag, but they don't get LGBTQ learning, you know, all the different sexes and all that stuff? Or would you take God out of school and add they have to learn about what it is to be gay, lesbian, bisexual, queer, trans, and they have to know at an early age because it's part of us being free and not being discriminatory. Which of those two would you want your kids to learn about? And you have to give up the other one. I feel like there has to be a balance because you don't want to be oppressive. Or let's say your 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 kid is gay. You don't want yeah. them to feel like they can't be accepted and they can't be themselves. But at the same time, there's got to be some sort of You got to pick one of them. You got to pick one uh, of them. Come on, Greg. I don't know, man. Okay. I, I don't. So I, that's a yeah. problem. But that's a problem. Yeah. And the reason why that's a problem is the following thing. Um, are you gay? Me? Yeah. No. <laughs> what do I, what do I, no. yeah, what do I need to do to convert you? I'm listening. What do I need to do to convert you into being gay? I don't think you, you can. You don't think I could convert you to being gay? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Uh, who converted you into getting a real estate license? I did. Who influenced you, though? How did you learn about real estate? Saw a TV commercial for a million-dollar listing. Perfect. And that kind of so, got in my mind. And you yeah. were influenced to be a realtor. You weren't born with wanting to be a realtor. Correct. Bingo. Yeah. Did you get it? Let me explain to you what I mean by this. Sure, please. So stats came out that shows which generation is the gayest generation of all. That's part of the LGBTQ community. Do you think you care more about what I think at this age? Or when you were 14 years old? Definitely 14. No problem. Me too, right? So do you think it's easier to convert you in a way of thinking at 14 or 33? 14. Of course, right? right? Okay. I became a Christian because somebody talked to me about it. I got into insurance because somebody influenced me to get into insurance, okay? I got into bodybuilding because I was influenced by Arnold Schwartz. I went to Santa Monica Community College because I was influenced because that's where Arnold went. Influence. Somebody influenced you, right? Mm-hmm. Four generations, five generations. Traditionalist, you got the boomers, millennials, Gen X, and you got Gen Z. You ready? Traditionalist, 0.8% of our gay. 0.8% of traditionalists are gay. Boomers, 2.6%. Then you go to 5%. Then you go to 10%. You know what percentage of Gen Z identifies as LGBTQ? 21%. 21. Mm. 21%. So who do you think cares less about what you and I think? Traditionalists or Gen Zs? Traditionalists. You think if you and I are 70 years old and we're gay, do you really think you and I care about what other people think? What do you think? No. You're coming out. You ever seen a grandma or grandfather drop F-bombs and it's like, get your butt out of my... Because that... Yeah, listen, I'm 10 years away from living and dying. Like, I don't give a shit what you think about me. But if 21% of Gen Z is gay, they're being influenced just like you were influenced to be a realtor, just like I was influenced to go into SMC. Influence. That's a problem. So the fact that you, a very smart guy, a super successful guy at your age, cannot tell the two apart... That means you're, you're not really putting a lot of thought into what's going to influence who. Because God, faith, that's going to influence you to do what? Complete different thing. Don't you think that some of that, though, is a bit of that overall people are on somewhere on a spectrum? And if you're, let's say, a 2 out of 10 or a 3 out of 10, that maybe you're more open about that, whereas in other generations you weren't. And perhaps it's somewhere in the middle. No. 
I think LGBTQ is a religion and you choose which religion you want to be in front of your kids. Okay. Uh, you choose, if a person is gay, you're eventually going to be gay. You're, you're going to be gay. You're not going to be, if, if you're going to do what you're going to do, like, for example, I, I, I thought about, I interviewed a guy who was a, um, a negotiator, FBI agent who would sit down with people that killed, um, uh, uh, that were, you know, murderers that killed their own family members. And I said, so what gets somebody to get to the point of wanting to do something like this? And he explained how there's a difference between what you're born with, what you're influenced with, and then to take the action, right? There are some people that are born who are dark human beings, period, that they enjoy it. They're born that way. You know, if you look at the Iceman, I don't know if you've ever seen interviews of the Iceman. Have yes. you ever watched interviews of Iceman? Yeah. That guy is cold, and he enjoyed what he did. What percentage of the world is like that? What would you say? 0.1%? Okay. So are we going to say, no, you know, he was influenced to be that way. There had to be a darker person in his life to get him to be that dark. No, he's born that way. Okay. Are some people born gay maybe? Maybe. Okay. But if we take a thousand gay people, what percentage of them are gay because they were born gay? What percentage of them are gay because they were influenced to be gay or life influenced them to be gay? That's a real question we have to talk about. I understand it's a very I, yeah, uncomfortable thing. I think it would be just attraction. Who are, like, like I am attracted to certain people and a certain type. I'm not attracted to another type. No problem. So I feel like that would be the same thing with gender. I'm, I'm it's okay. like if you're attracted to men or women, that uh, would be... Graham, yeah. do you think you need to learn how to give a blowjob to another boy at 11 years old? No. That book is in schools recommended teaching by many teachers in America. Do you think that's a problem? Sure. Do you think it's a better usage of my time to learn how money works? Yes. Or how to please another boy at 11 years old? Right. So then you have to decide your values and principles between the two. I think these values being taught to kids, are kids typically more liberal or conservative? Liberal. Liberal. I'm, I'm, are you kidding me? I'm all liberal. Like, let's try drugs. Let's try this. Let's break the law. Let's break this. Hey, let's sneak into the swimming pool and have the cops chase us. Hey, let's test this out. We're liberal, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't need to teach more liberal policies to kids. They're going to do shit. We're going to do stuff. We need to balance it out with what? With this, okay? So now watch this. Do you think rich, greedy people who have a lot of money, do you think they need to be taught more conservative stuff or more this stuff? Liberal stuff. What do you think? Do you see how yeah, this is working sure. out? So to it's me, it's the other way around. I think we've mixed it up. So be understood. This guy's 28 years old. He's gay. No problem. I've got plenty of gay employees. I have plenty of lesbian leaders in my company. Plenty of them. And see how my relationship is with them. You chose to do that as an adult, salute. A couple of them were here yesterday. Just watch how they hug me when they see me. Mm -hmm. We love each other. We have an incredible relationship. Then later on, we need to learn and say, hey, man, can you be a little bit kind to these people? Dude, relax. They just see things in a different way than you do. All good. I think we need to give conservative values to kids when we're liberals. And I think we need to inject a little bit of this when we're older, successful, to be a little bit more understanding. I think the education is out of whack. Hmm. You know, maybe the LGBTQ stuff can be taught to people that are older to be a little bit more gentle to them. But it's, so you're asking a question, I'm gonna go back to it. God is yeah. one of them. What's being taught in school is one of them. Not enough money, finances is one of them. The way we turn our heroes into, he you know, who the hero making machine is in America is a problem. Today we recognize complainers. Today we recognize who posts more naked pictures on social media gets the most likes. Today we recognize that more than somebody like you is responsible, makes his own money, works his tail off. You're, you seem very kind, you seem humble, you seem likable, yet you're doing your research, yet you're willing to talk to people. So we've confused kids on who the hero today is. Oh my God, poor person, look at this person. They came out of the closet at 14 years old. Let's do 28 articles on them. But that 14-year-old kid who made $28,000 independently, yeah, it's whatever, it's not a big deal. But let's highlight this person. What are you doing? Which one do we need more for society? More people coming out of the closet or more 14-year-olds that are making $28,000 on their own? We're turning the wrong people into heroes and it's confusing the F out of kids. So to me, those are things that we've been doing that's kind of messed up America Got a bit. It.